The boys got this in the mail. It's kind of cute. It stinks when you're not here. It's from a, um, a man at church who uh, was going to Texas, and he always jokes with the boys about uh, finding skunks by the side of the road and skinning them and using them for hats. And we're headed down to a sale down the street from us, and it's one of the best sales. And we were there a few weeks ago. They had an early sale, uh, and we got a few things. We're going to go again and see what you can find this time, if anything. There are the prices. Pretty cheap if you need them. The ski jacket. The boys are bored by the clothing, so we're going to go somewhere else. Where the other cool Let's see what else is there. Look at that. They even have their own pillow department here. I don't think I've ever seen a pillow department at a sale before. Where do you want to go, Peter? The furniture. Okay. Do you need I anything? So. Oh, wow. Look at that. Someone attached some wheels to a chair. John found the softball and baseball department, of this course. Still... I think this is an adult ball. It's a softball. That's one that girls usually use. The bowling department consists of only two bags and one pair of shoes. Three bags. Four bags. There's four bags, actually. Bowling ball is four for a dollar? Wow. Hey, if you need a bowling ball, you're all set. Oh, a couple more bags there. Found some more. Look at that. Those balls could all be yours for only $1.75. And it's only $5 for one sewing machine. You want it? Do you want it? No. Uh, here's the man's department. That's the cool stuff. Do you want that? How much is it? $2? I think I'll buy it. You know, you want it? Do you think I should? You know, I'm thinking yes. that this might work great for a light stand. Ladies are checking out the games. You see anything good here? Mama. It's over there. She sees something she likes. What's that? That way. What do you got, Peter? Over here. Okay, what is it? I bet you Can like you that. that would sell on eBay? Probably not. We're going to get it. We've been, we've been talking about doing some lighting, better lighting for our videos, and we thought that this might work for a light stand. There we go. Can you guys guess what these are? Kirby parts. Here's a grinder that you hook up your to your vacuum cleaner so you can sharpen your knives. And a waxer. And there's a uh, thing that you use for a buffer. And I know this from reading the catalog. I don't think we need a Christmas tree. That is a lot of mugs. Buy one, get two free. Eight and a third cents each. Too bad we don't need any. Oh, do you need it? No. Yeah, I don't I think so. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a larger planter because your mom's plant that we had, the um, big spiky one that was uh -huh. your great grandmother's or something, has outgrown its pot and I need a floor pot, a big oh, one. Oh, they probably have one somewhere. That's what I'm looking for. They have three pressure cookers. How do you open these? You have to twist it. You have to twist. Do they have a weight? That one has a weight. This one has to be a smooth. That one does have a weight. What do you think? Daddy, can I buy this one? Uh, do you need one? I'm thinking of holding off on those. Okay. We're disgorging our light stand. We're going to go back and see if there's anything else we need. It's always interesting to see the things that did not make the cut for the sale. Let's wow. see. That's um. Baby seat? Looks like some puzzles didn't make the cut. Baby seat. Uh, a few other things. Looks like mostly junk. The couch didn't make it. In the book department. I am so tired of seeing stuff. I've had it. No more stuff going in my house. On the other hand, she's On looking. Hand. It's fun to look. It's always fun to look. I live here, believe me. Hey, Jack. Leaving virtually unscathed. We got the light stand, the waffle maker, 
and boots um, and a bra. <laughs> I have a lot of girls. Nordic wear. Okay, it has a um, has a thermometer, right? Built in. Two thermometers built in. I just noticed it says 50 cents and two dollars. What does that mean? <laughs> that means that two people priced it at different prices. We saw another garage sale sign so Janelle just can't help herself. There's the sale and it turns out it's at someone's house that we know. Peter wants to know what this is. It's like some sort of exercise thing but I don't know. There's a side. I saw one of those at a garage sale just a few days ago. We're going to our local country store to see if they want to sell some pears. They said it's okay if we get some pears. Here. Uh, pull hard, there you go. So there we are. We got some pears. They said that we could just have them because they don't do anything with them. So we got a whole bunch of nice pears. Mary found an apple underneath the pear tree and I'm eating a pear. We're enjoying them together. I ask all of you guys, what was the name of this plant that was I loved but I don't know the name of it and someone told me that it was called the four o'clock flower. And I just noticed that it's starting to produce seeds and these are so much fun to pick because they just kind of sit in their little shells there and you can just turn the plant and they'll just tip right into your hand like that. It's something the girls like doing too. Just tip it right out. Only the black ones. And I actually replanted these flowers from seed that I had collected from last year when I had bought seeds. So it does work, re saving the seeds and replanting them next year. Looks like the cana lily seeds are ready now too. Did you know, notice this one looks a little like a bird. It has the funny eyes and the beak. The funny looking thing. Janelle and Charity are at Kohl's right now. She has some coupons for some good deals. The rest of the kids wanted to go to the zoo. Okay, I'll show you. See? There's another kitty in the back. See? Hi, little kitty. Hi, little kitty. How you doing? You doing good? Hi. Look at those little mice. Oh, yes. There's a dead one in there. A dead mouse? Is it really dead or just sleeping? Stop on It looks kind of dead. Yeah, that one looks pretty dead. It might be sleeping. There's a mouse on top of the water bottles. Uh -huh. Daddy, yeah. Daddy, look, the mouse is climbing up. Can you get me up? Oh, oh, look, the mouse just climbed up there. He climbs up those little grates. And then they climb up the grates and they're like, hee hee, you can't catch me. Yeah, he's got a pretty spiky hairdo. That looks a little like Simon. That, that parrot yeah, right there? Yeah, and Becky's the bird. Green? Not exactly, but a little bit like it. So, he, and this looks, it says, Hello, my name is Karma, and my species is a Kanur, and I'm energetic. Yeah, Almost does he look energetic to you? Yeah, he's moving back and forth. Chameleons, they're chameleons. How do you know? It says, one, two. Oh, yeah, there's oh. a chameleon. And one right there. Oh, they're, they're blending good. Wait. Hey, look at that. There's an orange one and a green one. Yeah. Crab. That's a funny looking toad or frog. Look, that turtle just climbed over that turtle. He's got places to go. Turtles. Turtles? Yes. They're sea turtles. Look, it's sea turtles. Aren't those painting ladies? Oh, look, it's swimming. It's swimming. Look at that turtle way above the water breathing. Look at that turtle right there. Guess that those are so cool. Look at the turtle up there, Lydia. Look at the turtle above the water. Above. Look. Oh, little Mr. Turtle. Little Mr. Turtle. Hey, Mr. Turtle. <laughs> Freshwater zebras. Look at that snail white on the, white above the water. Don't try to fall. Never heard of this before. And look, and there's a green fish. A green fish. 
two and, and, two and a half something. inch vanilla lobster. I need to show you something. This is super that is cool, cool, John. Look how cool this one is, too. Okay. This, one has, what type of, this is a ball python. It can stand, span 30 plus years. Wow. So if you want a long living pet, buy this there one. There you go. Well, uh, parrots live a lot longer. Well, parents live about 75 years. Well, still. So you have website. a friend for your whole life. Look at the, the website. And look at the spoils. What was your favorite thing? Um, um, probably the turtle. Which one? Um, the one that was um in the water. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. And I like the snakes and... I like the um the the geckos and lizards and um and what's the one called that had spikies right here? Uh, the, the chameleon. Yeah, chameleon and the parrots. Goody, what was your favorite animal? Um, turtle and kitty cat. A fish. You fish. like petting the kitty cat? Yeah, me too. I like and the I cat and too. I like the lobster. I like the snakes. They were cool. And they, I they love, cool. and I love the snakes. What's your favorite pet? Uh, I think that dead mouse. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, the lobster. The white lobster was cool. The vanilla lobster. Yes, that was cool. Now we have to go into Coles to rescue mommy and Charity. Guys, let's try to be really quiet so that mommy doesn't know we're upon her until she's we are actually right next to her. What do you think is more fun, going to the zoo or going to Coles? I think, I think the zoo is more fun. Lydia, what's more fun, the zoo or Coles? Zoo and Coles. We're headed back to the van. Janelle was in the checkout lane and she told me to head back to the car because she got something for my birthday she didn't want me to see. I went to Aldi's. Now, I have not been to Aldi's in three weeks, Art? I think so. Three weeks. And last week I didn't go grocery shopping at all, and this week I went to Price Shopper and only spent $17. So, two weeks for only $17, I can tell you food was getting pretty scarce around here. So I finally made a trip to Aldi's, and this is what I ended up getting, and this is again after three weeks. The pretzels were not on my list, but they were on sale for 89 cents a bag, and these were one pound bags, and that is a great price. And on top of that, we were going to Kohl's afterwards, and this is great food for kids. You can so see that, we ate half yes, of it already. Half the bag's already been eaten, but it made the trip go much better. Because we're at the 40-some cents. These crackers are our potty crackers. We use these as a reward for Mary going potty, and she loves them, and I think those cost all 79 cents, so yeah, that's a cheap potty reward. These, no one else likes these except me, and they were, I want to say, 99 cents each, 79 cents. They were something, and I got two of those. The potatoes were $2.99 for 10 pounds. This was a great price. This was $1.99 for a pound of pork sausage. And I usually can only find this for $3, and that's after buying the big, huge roll at BJ's. So that was a great find. And the good news is I've... Going, I'm going to be making a recipe for you guys using some of these ingredients, the cream cheese, the cheddar cheese, the bacon, and some half fresh jalapeno peppers in my garden. So stay tuned for that recipe, and I'll try to put the link after that's up. I'll put the link in the description below, and you guys can go ahead and watch that video to see what I'm making. Celery was, I think, 99 cents. Carrots, I just were, I was out of. The avocados were 69 cents each. I got three of those, and what I like doing with these for lunch is once they ripen up, I dice them and add them with a fresh tomato, because I have so many tomatoes right now, a little bit of salt, pepper, and balsamic vinegar, and it makes an outstanding lunch. I really enjoy eating that, and I eat other things other than that, just that. The head of cabbage was uh, maybe 99 cents. I'm not sure, but cabbage is a great way to stretch food around this house. So that's why I got that. And then the bacon was more of a splurge item, but that's, again, because I'm going to be doing a video for you guys on some of these ingredients. So the total damages were $34 and change, and I'm a happy woman for another two weeks, three weeks, something like that. This is my strange concoction, and maybe there's actually a name for it, 
But I absolutely love eating this. It's just a half of avocado with the balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, and a tomato. And it's great eating it just like this or crackers, maybe pretzels, I haven't tried that, or just a slice of bread. Really a nice snack or a side dish or whatever you want to call it, it's good. In the mail last week, I had gotten a free $10, 10 off 10 coupon for Kohl's. And I have a love-hate relationship with Kohl's because... No, take that back. I have a love-hate relationship with coupons because when it's 10 off 10, you just feel like you need to use it. That's 10 free dollars for something you might need. But it just sometimes it hangs over me because I don't want to spend the money, but I really know I should spend the money. And well, anyways, Art kind of pushed me and said, come on, let's go to Kohl's. We'll go to Kohl's and hit all these at the same time. So I went to Kohl's. I took Charity with me. First stop was all the clearance racks, and there was nothing, absolutely nothing there for me, and that was depressing. So the next thing that I wanted to look at, I wasn't sure I was going to get it, are these, um, they're like biking shorts, but they're for underskirts, um, and maybe this is just TMI, but having a postpartum baby body, some parts of your body rub that make it very uncomfortable in the summer and so this is supposed to help with um the thunder thigh issue and we'll see if that works because i really like wearing skirts in the summer they're a lot cooler than shorts and i think they look nicer but i absolutely hate the sweaty pain that comes with it so i went online and read about these and these seem to be one of the best out there we'll see i don't know i have no experience with this type of thing but i had to do something i wanted to look nice the bad thing is $22 for one garment. I think that's ridiculous. But hang on, I have coupons, but we'll get to that in a minute. So then I found, actually Charity found these. These are a nice pair of Vera Wang, Wang? I think it's Vera Wang. Um, Vera Wang uh, fabric tights. They'll be great for the fall. Normally $16. 80% off for $3.20. I also had just gotten in the mail today a coupon. If I use my Discover, if I spent $30, I got $10 off. And then I also had some merchandise credit from um, a past return. And so that's, what, $30? And I this didn't add up to $30. So I went and searched the clearance rack, and lo and behold, I found a gift for Art. And because Art's videoing this, I can't tell Hello. you or show you what I got him, but you'll have to stay tuned for his birthday video, then you can see what I got him. So after that was all said and done, it came to, what's that, 22? $2.88. Well, it was 14 something before I used my gift card. And it was $2.88, and because the Discover coupon said the 10 off 30, you had to use your Discover card. I had to put $2.88 on my Discover card, which is kind of crazy. But I don't think that's too bad. Three very ex fairly expensive items for $2.88. That's my way of shopping at Kohl's.